Well, one of the platinum stocks that you'd like to be invested in is Royal Buffalo King, which reported a 33% increase in interim headline earnings per share when all around them are collapsing. The chief executive, Steve Perry, is with us in studio. Well, Steve, you've you avoided the strikes. Uh, you managed to continue operating when Impala and Anglo Platinum in your region were uh, having big problems. The reason for this, no doubt, is your relationship with the trade union. And I say the trade union because the National Union of Mine Workers seems to be a lot more mature and easier going than the, the AMCU guys. Do you have any, is there any possibility that AMCU might get a majority on your mind? Well, I, firstly, I wouldn't, uh, and thanks for the compliment on the company to <laughs> invest in. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to compare our National Union of Mine Workers with, that, with AMCU as institutions, as you know, distinct institutions. But certainly I would compare our branch leadership, that is National Union of Mine Workers leadership at the mine, with possibly other leaderships that you find in other operations. And, and I need to give credit to the kind of the quality of the leadership that we're having in our uh, so My national, question is yeah. more important from an investor's perspective. Is there any risk yeah. that AMCU can take over the control of the labor at your, at your mine? Well, I wouldn't say there is, there is, there is no chance of that. I wouldn't call it a risk um, because we, we, we practice freedom of association and we allow any union that can prove that it has got a following then and has reached the, the recognition threshold to come in and, and organize within our mind. But, uh, and, and, and that's it, it's a constitutional dispensation in this mm -hmm. country because we will be, f we'll be falling foul of the law if we were to say no. However, with the strong leadership that we, we are seeing at, uh, at our mind, consistently so, and, and servicing their members because the strength of a union is how they service their members and look at their interests mm -hmm. and, and, and address them. Uh, 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 it, it, it's going to be a, uh, quite a high toll for them to do so. Steve, uh, forget back to Steve Perry now. Uh, the, the two big issues here, I guess, that we, we have to concentrate on, one is employee relations. And the, the yeah. old Impala Platinum learnt this to their cost. Then they had Steve Kearney fixing things, yeah. and then Steve Kearney left and went back to, to problem times. You, you invest a lot of time and energy and effort in making sure that your employees are happy. A lot of time, a lot of time. Um, I do it personally, but I also take my ex go along. I mean, last week, I spent the whole day Friday at the mine talking to various levels of workers. What do they want to know from you? You know, at times, simple things that the CEO is present speaking to us and say, how's life going? Mm. It makes them really, really appreciate and feel grateful because some of them had never seen a CEO with their naked eyes. And some of them would ask, we didn't think this company has got a CEO. <laughs> <laughs> a cardboard so cutout somewhere. That's right. Uh -huh. so, 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 and and uh, fundamentally, our relationship is based on its, its simplicity, humbleness, and humility yeah. from the top to the bottom and underlaying that it's respect and mutual trust. Once you build that foundation, um, then you can sort out any big problem that you encounter because we're speaking on equal mm -hmm. terms, understanding one of each other. And action well. as well. I yeah. was intrigued to see that you handed over 213 houses to your yeah. employees. Do you have, and, and I've seen the operation, yeah. I've driven around the, yeah. the, the village near to uh, RB Holdings and uh, RB uh, Platinum, yeah. and the houses are Good. It's not beautiful it's houses. It's not RDP houses, yeah. I guess, as we could call them. They were and and the plan, the site, the plan, the designs were chosen by the workers themselves. Uh, obviously, there was a lot of interaction to say, guys, lower the cost a little bit there mm -hmm. and there. They said we want decent housing. We want an investment for our members so that post their employment with RB Plate, they can trade this asset. It's an investment for We've them. We've said it before, yeah. you are leading the way in, in the employee relations there, Stephen. Congratulations on that. Thanks, the, where you're not leading the way, though, is this tax issue with SARS. We spoke <laughs> about, we talk about it every time yeah. we meet. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot at stake here, 437 million. Yeah. Any closer to resolution? No, we, we're not, we know we're closer to resolution. This, uh, the, the circumstances still remain the same. We still have uh, confidence of the probabilities of success in the matter. We have engaged the legal team led by the senior counsel. Uh, we're still speaking to SARS. On the other hand, we have applied for suspension of payment post the resolution of the issue, and we have uh, filed an objection. Um, that's the status at this stage.
Steve Perry is the chief executive of Royal Buffer King Platinum, the stock that right at the top of the program you would have heard Pit Fulun saying he owns and he's holding. That's